3,000 years, the Sphinx has been standing in the same place in the desert, peering into the horizon and waiting. Waiting to see the sunrise in the Egyptian region of the United Arab Republic, bringing a better life to its population. The Sphinx, which lived through many centuries, had many stories to tell. One thousand seven hundred and sixty-eight persons alone owned five hundred and sixty-five thousand acres of land. Entire villages were owned by the feudalists who possessed the land, the crop, the animals and even the human beings living in the area. Filled with sorrow and disappointment, the Sphinx could see how the feudalists exploited the farmer only to spend the fortunes they accumulated from his sweat and blood on luxuries and entertainment. But the Sphinx knew that Providence had a great hope in reserve. And that hope came with the dawn of July 23, 1952, when the Great Revolution broke out. On September 9, 1952, the agrarian reform law was promulgated, putting an end to feudalism. The land was distributed fairly, and special committees were busy making social and economic studies. introduced the agricultural cooperative system to help raise the farmers' standard of living and production. six cooperative societies were set up in the southern region of the United Arab Republic to the benefit of all farmers. The government also devoted great attention to the irrigation system and dug wells.
agrarian reform has introduced machinery to certain farming stages without affecting manpower. In the meantime, the cooperative societies have imported thousands of tons of insecticides to preserve the crops. Modern incubation centers were set up as part of agrarian reform. These centers are the most important in the entire Middle East. All equipment is modern. In addition, veterinary centers were formed to look after the sheep and cattle. in which the farmer has lived for many years is clearing away and the Sphinx should now smile and direct his attention to the Syrian region of the United Arab Republic. Great Damascus, the oldest city in the world, with its landmarks and ancient remains, has outlived the tragedies of time. One million, two hundred and seventy-seven thousand and seven hundred hectares of the northern region were owned by only 2,770 people. This is feudalism which creates one class of despotic owners and another of enslaved farmers. There could be no social justice with such a system prevailing. Just as their brethren in the Egyptian region, the farmers in the Syrian region depended upon themselves alone with nobody to give them proper guidance. They remained poor, ignorant and sick with no care from the feudalists.
technical research proved that most of the water of the main rivers in the northern region was wasted. Major projects were immediately laid down to avoid waste. The privileges won by the farmers in the Egyptian region as a result of the agrarian reform law are now enjoyed by their brethren in the Syrian region following the application of the same law as from September 1958. No more bondage and no more feudalism. The aim is social justice for all. Damascus was all out to welcome President Gamal Abdel Nasser and his guest Marshal Tito, President of the Yugoslav Republic, who happened to be there as the United Arab Republic celebrated its first anniversary following the merging of Egypt and Syria. An impressive parade was held as part of the celebrations. President Nasser and his guest were present. Following the parade, President Nasser distributed the ownership acts to the small owners and farmers amid great joy and happiness. The new republic was celebrating two occasions, the first anniversary of the birth of the United Arab Republic and the Agrarian Reform Festival. The land has gone back to its rightful owners. the Sphinx looked at the future with pride and faith, wishing the United Arab Republic peace and prosperity.